Today on the channel, I finish up my WrestleMania weekend coverage as we go over all the WWE superstars, retros, basics, and wrecking reveals. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for our third and final reveals video from Wrestlemania weekend is today's video we're dissecting and going through what I saw from the WWE superstars WWE retro WWE basic and the WWE Reckon line and a few miscellaneous things as well in this very video. If you missed my other videos, the one going over all the Elite Figure reveals, and a second video going over the stages, and of course the Ultimate Editions, check those out as well. It's such a, bit, such a big weekend. We had three different videos we had to make about this stuff. But this is an interesting one. This is kind of the catch-all with all the ancillary collections outside of Ultimates and Elites. And let's just dive on in here and let's go through it all. And if you missed the other ones, make sure you check them out like I said. But let's start it off from the WWE Superstore on WrestleMania weekend at the LA Convention Center. A lot of new reveals were shown there. And one of the good glass cases there was, of course, the WWE Superstars line. A lot of people excited about that line, of course. He-Man Masters Universe collectors are excited about it. Remco collectors are excited about it. And Everyday Joe collectors are excited about this kind of stuff. Was they absolutely love this line. It's a line that stole a lot of hearts. And I really do think there's more excitement about this line than the Retros line, which is kind of foreign to think about from just a couple years back. But this Superstars line has been catching fire. It is a Walmart exclusive, as we do know. I wonder if Mattel had to do it all over again if they would have these uh, everywhere and not just at Walmart because we got to be honest distribution has been very spotty on these things and if you guys have watched some of my uh, breakdowns of distribution in the ways of distribution videos in the past uh, I asked the Mattel team a little bit off the record if uh, some of the things that were going on was exactly like I assumed it to be and it was so there's definitely some distribution hurdles however I think those challenges have been pushed to the side and kind of fixed so we'll see what happens with the future of this line. It might be a little bit easier than in the past. That is the hope to get these figures. But I did take a straight on shot here that kind of showed the whole core group there. You see the Macho Man. You see the Rock. You see the Undertaker. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Of course, the Ultimate Warrior, which we have already. Ravishing Rick Rude. How about that one? Hulk Hogan, Mr. T. I love those ones. Two and one figures on Hogan and Mr. T, as we do know. And the two surprises of this case, of course, were Mr. Perfect and Bam Bam Bigelow. And it's funny when you always try to plan ahead, okay, who's going to be in the next wave of superstars? And you try to think who they could use. It's funny, it's like Mr. Perfect and Bam Bam are like right there in your face. You just don't think about it. But perfect examples to use in the superstars line. Bam Bam looking awesome. I wish the tights had a little bit more color to them, uh, but it is just a shirt top, it looks like, on Bam Bam. Mr. Perfect coming with a towel, coming with that kind of neonish, yellowish, green color singlet, it looks like, to be there. Rick Rude got the whole soft goods package, and we talked about Mr. T and Hogan being a true two-in-one set. Roddy Piper will be coming in fall of 2023. Hulk Hogan also coming fall of 2023. Those keeping track at home. That is to Walmart. You never know. The Paul Marts of the world may get those in August. Very well could happen. Superstars Wave 5 coming spring 2023. Superstars Wave 6 coming summer 2023. So we'll have all these, uh, I would say, by September in hand. That is the plan, at least. We'll see if that does happen. But very excited for the Superstars line. A lot of fun ones in there. Of course, Typhoon Earthquake in the background as well. I forgot to mention them. Uh, we all know all about Typhoon and Earthquake. Good figures there. But a really fun line and a line that I think a lot of people are getting a lot of enjoyment out. So we got two new announcements there in the Mr. Perfect and the Bam Bam Bigelow. I want to talk a little miscellaneous here. One thing I always love about San Diego Comic-Con and these WrestleMania setups and things like that is the cases that have the setup figures. They got the cool background dioramas uh, and some of the stuff. And this one here, I took a picture of it. It looks like the new WrestleMania Elite line, of course, Dusty Rhodes, The Rock, Macho Man, and Hulk Hogan kind of having a parking lot party, I guess. And then we're seeing a monster truck drive over the car uh, there. It's the Stone Cold Steve Austin Walmart exclusive Reckon monster truck. And they're getting the most out of their molds. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit more. But I love that whole scene there kind of going on. And then you got uh, Cody Rhodes there with the title belt holding it high or holding the belt up high, uh, kind of showing here it's the WrestleMania weekend, what's going on. You kind of got the LA background as well. Just a really cool diorama. And I love how they have everybody posed in there. Just a really cool, fun thing to do that they do in a lot of these things. And that Wrecking Monster truck with Stone Cold coming summer 2023. 
uh, an interesting one for sure. And then we get the other side of the fence, I guess we'll call it, uh, with the, all the elites staged. And it's kind of like a backroom brawl they have going on there. You got Johnny Knoxville, Shinsuke, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Ricochet, Roman. You got the Reckon, uh, Brock Lesnar, and uh, Lyft there. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff going on. It's always kind of just fun to look at these things posed in a case like that with a nice diorama. Always really fun. A lot of hard work goes into that. I think Robert said he was the one that put that one together, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure uh, he helped there. But now let's go back to the Superstar and let's start looking at the cases with the basic figures we saw. Now, of course, traditional basics, basic top picks, and then the basic showdown two packs as well. Starting it off hot with my boy Matt Riddle. He just came back the night after WrestleMania to Raw, so very cool. Looks like him and Miz might have a program together. We'll see if that happens. But we got Matt Riddle, a lot of reuse on this one. We're used to that at this point, but look good looking Matt Riddle. One thing to note is the painted toenails on this one. I think that's the first time we've got the painted toenails. Uh, so special shout out to painted toenails everywhere there you go then we saw pat mcafee and these were rumored back and not even rumored but i think revealed during san diego comic-con and i know i asked it a while back like i'm surprised those haven't been out yet well it sounds like they're coming sooner rather than later he will be the chase figure in this one he's got his tank top going on getting the most out of your molds but i think a lot of people are looking forward to this figure this is one of those figures gonna have a ton of crossover there's a lot of people that are fans of him not in wrestling but his football career and his announcing career his uh youtube show career and things like that so really a triple threat character to put in the line uh, and it does work out you can always have him as a commentator as well and i can see people popping that head off using him for customs things like that but we get two different versions one with the for the brand i believe is the chase one if i'm not mistaken so we do have that we got Liv morgan returning to the basics line i believe correct me if i'm wrong is this supposed to be your chucky inspired outfit doesn't quite look like Chucky, but she's got the painted on freckles, which speaks to Chucky. At least my daughter, Emma, who loves to dress up as Chucky from time to time. But an interesting Liv Morgan here. Uh, not exactly sure what this represents, but I feel like it's the Chucky thing. Why would she have those freckles dialed in if it wasn't for that? Then we got the Hulkster. The Hulkster moves some basics, brother. There was a lot of talk about that, that he is one of the all-time uh, best-selling basic figures ever. There's a lot of want for Hulk Hogan. So that tells you a lot of kids out there, they may not know Hogan. They weren't alive for Hogan, but they're buying him in the basic line. And let's be honest, there's a lot of adult collectors that don't get basics, but when they see a Hulk Hogan basic, they're picking that one up. So Hulk Hogan coming back to the line. A lot of reuse. We've seen this one before. Basically a new head sculpt, uh, a reused head sculpt i should say new bandana there but the hulkster fans they're gonna buy this you get a third party soft goods shirt to throw on this thing and man you were truly off to the races with the hulk hogan basics so we got that one coming then we got this john cena top picks here this hat i believe they said is molded on to the head so it has a better look a better fit so it is something a little bit different i can see some people buying this john cena popping the head off putting it on an elite figure because the head or the hat is not removable uh but definitely an interesting one but john cena no stranger to action figures at all and of course this john cena huge a's fan john cena you think he's more of a boston red sox fan nah -uh. you can see it right here he's got the yellow and green on this was revealed in california all day long John Cena, big Oakland A's guy. Somebody can fact check it. I wouldn't because we are all Oakland A's fans at the end of the day. Shout out to the A's. Whoever wonder if they're watching your every move? Cell phones, internet, surveillance. Think about it. Uh, we get Riddle again, once again in the top picks. I believe this is a direct re-release. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. No painted toenails on this one, but the Evil Can Evil inspired gear is speaking to me. I love me some Evil Can Evil, so I love stuff like this. Roman Reigns, once again, easy pass for me, but you got to have a guy like Roman out there all the time for the kids. Got to think about the children, as we do know. <laughs> Won't somebody please think of the children? You got Roman Reigns coming to the top picks line. And then, of course, Cody Rhodes, once again. Uh, that Mattel basic Cody Rhodes that came out has eluded me. Hasn't hit any of my stores. Ringside sold out of it. And I went to the Superstore, and they had tons of them there. They were selling, and I said, okay, the end of the night, I can't lug this around all day. I'm just going to get it at the end of the night. I said, I just hope it's still there by the end. And, of course, that was the only basic that sold out was Cody Rhodes. So I'm still waiting for that previous basic. I might buy this basic as well. Getting the most out of your molds, a little bit different uh, graphics on it. But Cody Rhodes, he's moving the units so they're going to put him in top picks we're going to have cody rhodes overload uh very soon into the future believe you me on that one now we get down to some showdown packs here and this is an interesting one i can see a lot of crossover to elite collectors for this you do get the rock i, I can't remember i don't think looking at it i think it is a different head sculpt than the rock from elite series 100 basic 
where we're getting the rock once again you do get the title belt here the little dumbed down title belt but still cool to get the title belt with this one and then for me i gotta get this one because i want that mankind talk about a moment in time but one of those ways to really cross over to the elite collectors ultimate collectors to get a mankind and he's got the kind of green bow tie once again i think he did that for an oakland a's night i think that was the thing somebody fact check that if they want to uh but looking really good there uh, it's like something we've had before with just a little twist and that's all it takes for me to take the plunge and pick that one up so i'm very excited to get that mankind rock two pack street profits once again coming to the two packs no stranger there we've had them numerous times it does drive me nuts that we only get one title belt i really would rather just not have a title belt at all honestly it's just weird to get only one when you have a team like this getting the most out of your molds maybe the last time we get the most out of these molds here we did see the new molds in the elite line for the street profits so maybe the basics will be retired after this or or maybe not of course but looking good there uh, i'll probably pick those street profits up in all honesty then we see a two-pack that's a little strange one is this a uh are we do playing nostradamus once again are we looking to the future here is cody and austin theory gonna have a program together uh i'm not sure exactly why these two are thrown together in this pack looks a little strange austin theory a lot looks like he's towering over cody Rhodes here so scale not really in line here we do get the u.s title belt which is cool cody a new cody which will help this pack of course uh but a very interesting set on these two here and austin theory has a massive head on this figure as well not sure what to think about that one very interesting though uh, so we do have that as a showdown pack and then another throwback showdown pack which isn't bad once again getting some of those fans you get the undertaker and batista i've never been a big fan of the batista basics i just feel like there's something missing in the whole body and then i really don't like this batista head for whatever reason i never have liked this head taker kind of paint by numbers taker we've had a very similar takers in the past we do get the gold belt with it which is always nice to see uh, but it's just kind of there for me, in all honesty. I don't think I'll be picking this one up unless I find a damaged one or a deep discount one or something along those lines. Uh, the New Day, always good to get the New Day. It's been a while since we've had them. Of course, they're not the full-on New Day right now, as they're missing Big E and Kofi's out injured as well. So it's just the one day in, Kofi, or in uh, Xavier Woods. Once again, only getting one tag team title belt drives me absolutely crazy. I just wish they could just not give them to us or skip one set and the next set get two, something like that, because it's just so weird. I can't imagine that as a kid playing. It would drive me even more crazy if I was a player out there. But good to get the New Day. Always fun, always colorful figures. Like the looks of those two here. And then another really good one here. We got Ricochet. And don't call him Walter anymore. He's Gunter. And he looks good with the new Intercontinental title. I think first time in the basic line, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll have to pick that one up. I love me some Gunther. He looks good. He's awesome. Uh, heck of a match. Probably the match of the weekend, really, at WrestleMania was him and Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. So we'll see where that one lands. But that was the Intercontinental title feud at the time, if I'm not mistaken. So there we go. There's the little showdown packs we saw. Uh, then moving our attention over to retros we got a little bit of a recap is kind of what we have right here as we got the scott hall kevin nash of course ringside collectible exclusive head over to ringside if you're looking for this use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent and then you see the box for it as well the four pack of the nwo and then of course six and hulk hogan is the other set looking really really nice here i like what we see with these this is a set that really does pop i think in package i really like the looks of this and once again i have to think this is coming in the next month or so from ringside collectibles so be ready for that one and then we turn our attention to the set, the newest set, the newest four-pack for later this year. We got the man called Vader, Vader time. And I talked about the Superstars line earlier, how Mr. Perfect Bam Bam were staring me in the face. And I just couldn't uh, picture those two up as the next set. Vader, kind of the same thing. Vader, a perfect guy to have a retro figure of that I wasn't thinking about. At first, when I saw this, I was like, oh, no, they made Vader a jumper. But he's got that gap in between his legs, uh, very similar to Tugboat, of course. But I love Vader. The man called Vader is a favorite of mine, so I'm happy to see him enter the retro line. And then very similar, another set that I never thought of, but of course makes a lot of sense, Paul Bearer and The Undertaker. Uh, Paul Bearer got the big grip there to hold the urn. Of course, getting the most out of your molds, the mean gene body we've seen in the past with the Paul Bearer head looking really good. I have to think there's going to be more Paul Bearer figures in our future as far as the elite line, maybe even the ultimate line. If they're making this one here, I think we're about due for a new elite Paul Bearer, so I wouldn't be shocked to see that uh, as a possibility. I would think they would maybe give the time with this kind of red hair and his uh, more colorful suit, get away from the black, give us the cane version, much like that Jack's Classic Superstars 3-pack way back in the day. I'd love to see that in elite form or a build-a-figure form in the future. Then you get Taker. The Taker, very, very similar, of course, to the Taker 
uh, back in the day that we got in the retro line when it came back. Got the new head. It's the Phantom of the Opera Undertaker. Uh, so we do have that to go with Paul Bearer. It's definitely different, uh, and it's an easy one getting the most out of your molds. But at the end of the day, Undertaker, very popular. He will sell in this. So a very good four-pack. And then closing it off with one we saw prior is Jerry the King Lawler. I love me some Jerry Lawler, so I'm here for this. Going to be interesting to see how that Jake the Snake arm works. I think we've had it before in the retro line, but it's been a while since we've had it. Looks really good. I believe it'll be a good seller as part of this four pack. I don't know. It's kind of a mix mash of a four pack, but it does this in some ways make sense just putting these guys together. So more to come on that. Uh, then we turn our attention to the retro display. We kind of saw them all there together. We saw the latest four pack with Lex Luger, Tugboat, Doink the Clown, Greg the Hammer, Valentine. We saw those there with the ringside collectible exclusives, then the new ones here. So very cool to see them all there together. Always a phenomenal display. They put these guys together on looking really nice in the retro line. And uh, yeah, that's the retro portion. Now we're going to turn our attention over something that came out over the weekend here that was quickly talked about by the Mattel team. But apparently the NXT, uh, some of the wrestlers were over there at the Mattel Studios. Perfect time while in town. They could get scanned in those machines. We walked through that stuff in my Mattel uh, video from my day at Mattel. But apparently they took some pictures of a few things and they leaked out that they shouldn't have. But there was going to be a Masters of WWE Universe entrance stage. Unfortunately, that did not happen. They offered that up to the Walmart buyer. They refused and it was scrapped there's been tons of toys over the years that's happened to but very cool to see that kind of uh pictures of that and what could have been i guess is what we'll call that there but very very interesting now we turn our attention to my day at mattel going over there and i was very fortunate to be at the front of the pack so i was one of the first people outside of the mattel organization to see this display case and i immediately said oh my gosh and i knew right away what i was seeing with some of these soft goods or I think some of the people, maybe some of the younger crowd there, maybe didn't realize some of these things, what I think they are. Um, but definitely, I think I've cracked the code on these, and we'll talk about them here. But the first one I saw that caught my eye right away, Captain Lou Albano. Talk about a major coup from the Mattel team getting Captain Lou. Now, one thing they are struggling with Captain Lou, they did mention, is, of course, the rights issues. We've heard in the past about Rowdy Rowdy Piper, his iconic Panther shirt. Apparently, to track down who owns the rights to that Panther shirt is very difficult. Same thing with Captain Lou Albano. Some of the flannels he wore and some of the kind of Hawaiian shirts he wore. And then, of course, on the LJN figure with the uh, picture of him on the front... Hard to track down exactly who owns the rights to those. So the verdict's still out whether or not we'll see those or not. But you can make it pretty close, I think, especially in the Hawaiian shirts. But we're getting him here in the uh, Superstars line, which is very cool and very interesting. They would start the first Captain Lou figure off in the Superstars line. Obviously, you get the head sculpt. They got the body molds already there, so it does work fairly easy. But I, I did say, okay, where's the elites? When's that? And they said, oh, no, we signed uh, Captain Lou just to a one-figure deal, and we put him in the Superstars line. They said that jokingly, tongue-in-cheek, but I do fully expect by San Diego Comic-Con time, I bet you we'll have a Captain Lou Legends announced, or they'll show it there. So a lot of good Captain Lou stuff coming. Very cool. We're getting closer and closer to really building out some of these 80s legends. And now with Captain Lou signed to the Superstars, Coming out with Superstars figure, you'd have to think he could be maybe in a manager two-pack in the Coliseum line as well, as far as Ultimate Editions go. But I love it that we're getting some guys that we haven't had figures of signed after all these years. I love the Hogans. I love the Warriors. I love the Macho Mans. Keep bringing those on. But it's always fun to get some new blood from the heyday of the 80s. And even before that, of course, with Captain Lou, you get wrestler Captain Lou from back in the day if you wanted to. But very cool here. We also got a record, a breakaway record, first time in the line there. So we get this breakaway record. Uh, maybe we'll see that uh, moved into like a breakaway painting, get that Ultimate Warrior in the baseball cap. Who knows? Maybe that'll be in the future here. But Captain Lou looking really, really good. And then the man called Vader once again in the Superstars line. Man, I'm here for this Vader. I love this soft goods cape like a young Lando Calrissian looking good with Vader. He'll be a really good one in this line. Just very toyetic. It really feels like he fits in this line as well. So I'm all in on that Vader. Then talking about some of these soft goods, a lot of questions. They did say, hey, these soft goods are here. That does not mean they're for the Superstars line. They could be for the Ultimate line, Elite line retro line i guess they could be for any line out there so they didn't say but looking at some of this stuff so you do see wrestlemania 2 what could that shirt for be for could that be for king kong bundy is he coming back to the line maybe that's a possibility maybe it's for andre the giant uh, i'm not exactly sure i'm trying to think maybe william refrigerator perry didn't he wear that wrestlemania 2 shirt as well did they sign him uh, I'm not exactly sure. And I know Steve Osier did say he was going to announce one of his biggest coups, one of the things he was so excited to uh, get in the line. 
I mean, he never really said what that was. I'll have to hit him up and say, okay, what was that exactly? Maybe it was Captain Lou. That very well could be the thing. Who knows? But uh, that WrestleMania 2 t-shirt's very interesting as an Easter egg. Uh, you do see a robe behind that. That is obviously the Iron Sheik. I would not be shocked to see the Iron Sheik in the Coliseum collection. Kind of writes itself. Put him and Nikolai together as a two-pack. Maybe Freddie Blassie with him. Uh, you could put Hulk Hogan with him as well. There's a lot of ways you could go with the Iron Sheik. I guess you give that traditional Yellow Trunks Hogan with Sheik. I think that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of ways they could go with him. But I have to think that's for that or a future Legends line on the Sheik. And I wouldn't be shocked to see a, a Sheik superstar in the future too. I think that's an easy one. And Nikolai Volkov as well. I could see both those guys in the Superstars line uh, eventually. So we'll see where that one goes. We do see Warriors Duster there. To me, that looks like it's almost for a Superstar. But I'd have to think that's for an Elite. We just got in the SummerSlam set the Hulk Hogan that would match that. I've been saying it. Reenact that movie or that magazine cover from uh, the WWE Magazine. I I think we might be getting that hopefully sooner rather than later. It'll be cool to have that kind of whole team. You got Sid as the referee. We'll have that whole little universe. We just need a general add-on. Hopefully that comes sooner than later. We see a Shoosh shirt. Obviously that's directing us towards a Chad Gable. It doesn't look like that shirt's going to fit Otis. So I'd have to think Chad Gable is going to finally make his return to the Elite line. Been a while since we've had Chad Gable in a line. I think the last time was a basic as Shorty G, I have to think. So we'll see on that one. Then the cape that confused a lot of people. A lot of people had no idea where that went. And my mind immediately went back to Jack's Classic Superstars 2-pack. Freddie Blassie, Hulk Hogan, the early version of Hulk Hogan. I think that's what that cape is for. And that makes a lot of sense. They've done a lot of Hulk Hogans. There's still a lot to do. But some of these deep cut Hogans, it's time to get them in the line. I would bet anything. I'm going to bet the house. Bet the house that that's Hulk Hogan's cape. Hopefully for a future elite or ultimate figure. Uh, but that one I know puzzled a lot of people on the uh, Q&A and people walking around. They were confused as to what that was. I think I knew. I think I knew. Now we turn our attention to some grayscale prototype uh, basic figures. And the first one we're going to talk about is, of course, Cody Rhodes. No shocker we're going to get a basic Cody Rhodes. And I love this one here because so customizable with these suited bodies. You pop that head off, you can have anybody in a suit. So I love that aspect. But Cody, of course, always wearing a suit on TV, is on brand, makes sense. You're not putting it in the elite line, but a basic line gets us another basic Cody. It's just playing all the hits here for me. I think that's a wise decision. Then we saw the Reckon monster truck again, this time with John Cena, apparently, and getting the most out of your molds. Of course, the Stone Cold one is a Walmart exclusive. This is the Reckon one you'll be able to find at Walmart, Target, Amazon, Ringside, you name it, everywhere. A little bit more plain Jane. I guess if you want to have a monster truck race, you could put them side by side if you want to, or you don't want the Austin one, you just want a representation, you can have that. To me, I would probably get the Austin one if I get one at all. Not really sure on that one. It's cool to get a monster truck. would be great for little kids. I don't know if I really need it in my collection, but we'll see. Stay tuned, I guess, for that one. Then we saw Ronda Rousey, a no stranger to any line from the WWE in the last couple of years, but we got Ronda as a basic. Uh, not shocked to see that, and I think we're going to see more Rondas in the future. I really think her and Shayna will have a tag team run, so I would assume we'll see them in a a showdown pack and probably some elites things like that in the future uh, we did see Rey Mysterio once again no stranger to any line is Rey Mysterio you put him in elite then the next time he's in a showdown then he's in a basic then he's back to an elite then an ultimate you gotta have the ups and flows of Rey Mysterio at all time because kids love Rey Mysterio he's a hall of famer and of course he wears a mask and everybody loves those masks can't wait for his hall of fame uh, mask hopefully they figure that out It'd be a great basic maybe as hall of fame gear with the great Muda inspired mask I would love to see that of course also from the might against Wrestlemania against Dominic I'm sure they're going to milk that one they got to do that that was one of the biggest angles going into mania of course as we do know Tommaso Ciampa a guy that's been kind of MIA out with an injury but he is getting a basic figure it looks like it's some reuse I believe from that uh ringside collectible exclusive from about two years ago now I think it's at this point so it's been a while since we've had a figure of him but we'll be getting him as well See Randy Orton hiding out in the background, a guy that's no stranger to any line, much like Rey Mysterio, as we always talk about. And I believe that might be it. Nope, we're almost done here. We got a uh, little, I think they said this was going to be a Coles pack, a Coles exclusive pack. And it is a ring and ATV, Roman Reigns and The Rock pack. Now they have these every year at like the Coles department stores. It's a great gift for a little kid. You got everything all in one. You get two figures, you get an, a nice accessory, you get a ring. Really great for that little kid that's starting to play with wrestling figures. And that's what we have here. So every year they have something like this. It seems like this is this year's. Very interesting, The Rock 
and Roman are in there together. I found that to be very interesting. I wonder if they were supposed to have that match at WrestleMania, and as we know, it did fall through. Uh, very interesting. And then we're going to finish it off with two retro figures that were announced. Uh, Ringside Collectibles announced these. I think it was Saturday, maybe Sunday, probably Saturday of WrestleMania weekend. The first ever female retro figure in Wendy Richter. Richter I guess I should say WWE Mattel licensed retro figures. We have seen Cella Epic Toys have a few of those figure collections as well. This is going to be the first one. And now we're getting Wendy Richter. You have to think that opens up the floodgates. We'll get a Macho Man and Elizabeth maybe in the future. Also, Sensational Sherry makes a lot of sense. Give me Sweet Sweet Sapphire. Can we do that too? Can we get her for our Dusty Roads? We'll see if that happens. But Wendy Richter coming to the retro line. That makes sense. And then we got Hulk Hogan. And this, I believe, is the same uh, mold as the NWO Hulk Hogan coming from ringside. So once again, got to get the most out of your molds. Makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, this should be a straight up Hulkamania Hulk Hogan. A lot of people will be excited for this Hulkster, of course, in the retro line as well. But a good showing out of Mattel for all the ancillary lines. A lot of excitement. I do think we'll see more superstars maybe come San Diego Comic-Con as well, as that line is really catching fire right now. But some really, really good stuff. And I always love it when they make Elite and Ultimate fans cross over and buy some basics, buy some Reckon, buy some superstars, buy some retros. Just an exciting time, as I always do say. We are living in the golden era of wrestling figure collection, uh, collecting, I guess. Uh, I've been there since the LJN era. I've been a part of all of it. There's always been uh, wrestling figures, but we've never had so much coming at us. We've never had so many choices and options, be it from Mattel, be it from Jazzwares, Epic Toys, KWK, Hastel Toys, Zombie Sailor, uh, Bendy's, Major Bendy's, Big Rubber Guys. There's so many different lanes, avenues for wrestling figures right now. Uh, it's just truly is a golden time. Hard time on our wallet, I'll be the first to admit that, but it's a lot of fun to be able to see all this new stuff and even funner to see it all in person for the first time. Uh, for collectors like me and probably a lot of you guys have been doing this for a long time, love seeing the reveals, just anticipating the reveals, what we're going to see, and to get to see it in person was just really, really fun. So I had a lot of fun over WrestleMania weekend. We'd love to do it again in Philadelphia. I don't know if that one's in the cards or not. I guess we'll see. It's about a year away, uh, but I would love to at least see the superstar. Uh, it was a lot of fun. That was the true highlight for me was the Mattel time and the Superstars time. Uh, just a really lot of fun weekend, of course, you can imagine. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you watched the other two as well as we broke down everything from WrestleMania weekend. Quite the busy weekend, but a really fun weekend. And I'll leave it at that. So if you missed out, check out those videos. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we're always breaking it down over here. Don't forget to hit the old notification bell. Don't forget to like this video. Give it the old Hacksaw Jim Duggan thumbs up. And then, of course, don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, Q&As, giveaways, pizza reviews, you name it. A lot going on on the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over there at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson. So for WrestleMania Reveals Weekend, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.